so beautiful. Take a good look at it, honey. It's probably our last chance. Chris says that the taller the coin gets, the more beautiful it looks. The stalks bend in the wind, he says. They never stop climbing. Yeah. Say, they, they get taller than I am. Clear up there. Oh, John, I don't ever want to leave here. Let's go, honey. I am directed, by order of the Superior Court, to offer at public auction the following piece of property in Center County, the farm known as the Roger S. Wilson Farm, consisting of 160 acres, more or less, in Ottaway Township, together with the farm buildings and equipment complete, to satisfy the judgment of $4,482.17 and costs in favor of the Central City Bank and Trust Company. Bids are now acceptable on this farm. What am I offered? Well, who's going to start the bidding? I'll bid one for... Hey, what's the big idea? You don't want to bid, mister. I said, who's going to start the bidding? Come on, Jen, start off the bidding. I bid a dollar seventy-five. What was that? I said a dollar six bits. What is this, a joke? Why, the mortgage alone is $4,000 and the property is worth four times that much. I bet a dollar eighty-five. This is ridiculous. A dollar eighty-five bid for this valuable farm property. This sale can't go on. Come on. You know the law, Sheriff. Received two bids, property must be sold. Who told you that? State law. Article 46, Section 3. Look it up. Pretty smart, ain't you? All right. I'm bid a dollar eighty-five for this fine farm. Do I hear any other bid? The ridiculous low price of a dollar eighty-five bid for this wonderful farm. Come on, folks, bid. I gotta get more money than that for this wonderful place? We decided that since you started this thing and been bossing it, we wanted to give the farm to you. That's yeah, right, boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't giving up, man, and I don't know how to thank you. But uh, where'd you get the idea, anyway? <laughs> Down in Iowa, they sold a farm for 95 cents. We hated to have to pay a dollar 85. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a great gang. And if we all stick together, we can put this thing over. Now, uh, what about food until the uh, crops come through? We can oh, yeah. yeah. right. Give me three men in the truck, and I'll go up on Table Mountain and bring back a whole load of apples. There's a farmer down the road who raises hogs. Maybe he'll give us some, and we'll pay him back after the harvest. We'll bring home the bacon. Say, that's yeah. well. If my wife's uh, rabbits keeps on multiplying, that'll help. Say, that's fine. Now, we'll start the first thing in the morning. <laughs> come in. the light burning. I hope you don't mind. Why, not at all. Say, what is this, a gangster's hangout or something? <laughs> <laughs> Why, no, uh, we all work here. We're farmers. <laughs> Say, where is this place? I've been driving around that darn rain for about five hours. I must have taken the wrong road someplace. My old man got tanked up in the last town we came through. He, he did? He passed out in the back of the car. Probably drowned by now. Is that your car? Yeah. Say, would some of you fellas be good enough to bring him up here so he can catch his breath? Sure. Hey, come on, a couple of you big guys. Okay. Uh, Louis. Sure. Certainly. Where's Louis? I just went to get a drink. Oh. Come on. Well, come on. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, my wife makes most wonderful preserves, and we'll get plenty to eat. I'm not the eyes here. Well, it's great for the corn. You, uh, you go over there and dry yourself out. <laughs> Come on, Louis. 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 You better get the dog fight. 
This old guy was drunk, but he's dead now. Dead? Are you sure? Well, I guess I know a stiff when I see one, don't I? Hey, Pipes! Wait a minute. Better get the Undertaker instead. The Undertaker? Hey, Spike, give me a hand with this thing. We'll take it over to the barn. Okay. You're being awfully brave about this. Pop's not doing so bad out there. He always wanted to live on a hill. for me to stay here like you said it was last night. I'll, I'll go ahead and unpack the laundry. Maybe you ought to go in with her. I think she'd rather be alone. There was almost another funeral here yesterday. Louie caught Jake Wilder sneaking off the place with some community goods. He did. Yeah. Can you imagine the nerve of that guy? He was going to sell the stuff outside. Said his wife wanted a radio. Huh. <laughs> We'd last about a week here at that rate. What did you do? Well, I warned him. But the next one that pulls anything like that gets out of here. Believe me. No, no second helpings today. Listen, Chef, I'm not on a diet. You will be if they don't bring me something to cook. Is that the biggest handout we get? Five down. I do have that. Yes. Thanks. How is she? Come on, I'm hungry. Well, move over. Sour puss. Nice joint they got here. Yeah. Beautiful view. Great idea, this village. Swell chance for advancement. I'm going to open up a beauty pie. Got a special invite from the head man. Hey, what's eating your cat got your tongue? I don't know how long you're going to be here or why. That guy's married and you lay off. My gosh, ain't you anticipatory. <laughs> <laughs> 